Welcome to the first edition of Legal Affairs. I'm Stephen Yap. Our program will discuss from a legal perspective current affairs issues relating to Hong Kong. Today we have in the studio Lawrence Ma, Thank you. barrister and chairman of the Hong Kong Legal Exchange Foundation. The Lawrence, recently on the 19th of September, Hong Kong held the election committee election and candidates were elected to fill the 1500 seats of the election committee. The election committee comprises of five sectors, industrial, commercial, and the financial sector is the first sector. The professionals is the second sector. Grassroots, labor, religious organizations is the third sector. LegCo members and district organization representatives being the fourth sector. And finally, the deputies of the National People's Congress, Hong Kong members of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, and Hong Kong members of the five national organizations. Lawrence, Western Critics says that our election committee election was not an election at all. It was just an event for a small bunch of people in Hong Kong to cast a ballot to reach a result that has already been decided by Beijing. Now, what is your take on that? Well, Western elections focus on the process. They don't really care if they voted for someone who is a real fanatic and didn't do much good for the country. They always think that, well, if I elect a crook, I can vote down the crook in the next election. Right? That's what Western democracy always mm -hmm. believe in. But to us, election is not a process, it's a result. The, that we, our election is how to make sure the best and the most capable candidate who has a good track record of, of management to win the election. Election is only a process, as I said. And prosperity, stability, security is the, that the result that we aim for. We will not sacrifice the result for the sake of compliance with a process. So that explains how election is different in our part of the world and the Western uh, part of the world in relation to election. Now, Lawrence, Western critics also says that because uh, only a few can cast a vote, candidates elected like yourself may not be representative enough. Now, what's your take on that? Well, <laughs> well, that they, well, because I'm I'm representing the legal sector. Let's talk about the legal sector. All right, the legal sector is that in the old days when the uh, before this the, before this reform, um, only. Uh, Practicing barristers and practicing solicitors can vote. That means how many people? We have about uh, um, 9,000 practicing solicitors and about 1,500 practicing barristers. And that would be just a, a little bit over 10,000 people. Now, what about those who are in the quasi-legal profession? For example, legal executives. In your firm, you have a lot of people who are so experienced, they're not qualified solicitors, but they are so experienced, they are legal executives, they've done the training program, they work in a law firm for over, what, 10, 15 years. They get, get in business, they deal with clients. Now, those people are not represented. What about trademark attorneys? What about trademark agents? Patent attorneys, they're not represented. What about trainee solicitors? All right. What about pupil barristers? What about legal graduates from universities? They were all unrepresented in the legal sector. So in this election reform, that taking into, for example, the Hong Kong Legal Exchange Foundation like us, we have a lot of members who are in, the, mm -hmm. in those categories, which I just mentioned. So those people can now have their voice um, in the chief executive and the um, National Security Council members' election process because they can through uh, the votes exercised by our Legal Exchange Foundation, pick the best candidate that represents them. So the, the actually, um, the, so the basis of representation is enlarged rather than smaller. Okay, thank you, Lawrence. Uh, that was very enlightening. Uh, that's the program for today. Um, thank you for watching Legal Affairs. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you.